All right, so today is not a fun day. Uh, we are here at the children's ER. Um, poor Sawyer has been fighting off an infection. Um, it's like a skin. It's a skin infection and he's been on antibiotics for a really long time. They've drained it, it keeps coming back. So we are here and hoping he can get some relief. He seems to be in good spirits, but he is not himself. He still is in a lot of pain. So um, we're hoping that today, whatever they have to do, will give him some relief. You would never guess it. Right. Oh, don't hit the nurse button. get here? Um, like oh, almost 11. 11 something. All right, so we've been here for a couple of hours. Um, Sawyer's getting pretty tired. He had an ultrasound on the area, um, try to figure out like what's under the skin so they can make a recommendation. Um, they're talking about um, IV antibiotics, possibly surgery. Um, we're just kind of waiting to see what, what they say. So, um, trying to keep him happy, but he's in a lot of pain and just a baby and super tired and hungry. We have family on standby to help with the kids, but we're hoping um, they might recommend a less invasive course of action, so we'll see. All right, so uh, John and I are actually taking shifts. Um, so I'm gonna be staying with Sawyer overnight for this first night. So after we got admitted into the room, um, Sawyer is gonna be staying at least for one night, if not two, to make sure that the antibiotics are working and that surgery isn't needed. So um, I am actually headed home. John went to get a few things um, and he's taking the first like long shift. Um, so I am actually gonna head home, pick up Darcy, um, get the girls uh, dinner on the table. There's nothing to do other than, you know, take care of the kids at home, make sure that we're well, well rested so that we can take care of Sawyer and stay up with him. So I'm gonna come back. Um, John's gonna go home to sleep at home for the night and I'm gonna stay with Sawyer here. Um, and if he stays another night, we're gonna uh, switch that. That is the current plan. So I'm gonna go get Darcy. Um, we've been keeping Miss A updated. We've been keeping family updated. Um, but really it's just like a waiting game and hoping that the antibiotics really kick in. So I'm here with the girls and we definitely wanna make sure we're eating a good meal tonight because I'm gonna be sleeping at the hospital. Um, we wanna make sure that the kids don't have like just fast food or like grab and go stuff. Um, so of all days to get our HelloFresh delivery, this was perfect timing um, because we are now gonna eat something really delicious and healthy. Um, it's gonna be super convenient. It's 10 minutes to prep, 40 minutes to cook, and uh, we'll all be fed and happy, right? As we hope that Sawyer, well, we don't hope. We know he's in good hands. So this is something that is going to definitely take my mind off of things, um, make sure we get dinner on the table, get packed up, and then I'm gonna head back to the hospital. Mommy, I forgot to do it. What? So, after we make the dinner, we can, I, I can, I, he would, I will set out all of the boys. Oh, you're gonna set out the bowls? That's a really good idea. Not to mention, this is gonna be pretty darn delicious, don't you think? Looks really good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Kind of, but what are those breakfast? It's the seasoning on the chicken after it's cooked. It's really good. We love HelloFresh because it's so delicious. Like, every single meal has so much flavor. I don't cook like this, um, but I've really been picking up on some techniques, so. No. Yes, we do. <laughs> We're eating a lot better. And Usually. all of the food is gaming. Yep. So usually we get a box um, with two meals in it per week that feeds all of us. By getting our box every week, um, it really saves us a lot of time because 
I don't have to worry about meal planning, meal prepping, everything is conveniently pre-portioned. There's no wasted food, so it's really, really sustainable. And what I really like, especially right now, is that if you um, don't need a box that week, you can skip a week, so it's super flexible. Um, but also, like it's November, like Thanksgiving is next week. If you choose not to have a box, you can actually donate your box. You can donate your box to someone who needs it. So HelloFresh is all about giving back and obviously we like that here at the village. All right, so Darcy is gonna help me cook. I'm gonna have a couple hours with her and Miss A before I have to go back to the hospital. Um, so at least we get some good time together. You wanna eat a banana as an appetizer? Then here rest a banana. What are you gonna do? Doing the hair with the banana. Yep. Fun times, fun times. All right, let's get cooking. So after eating just half a sandwich today, because I've been in and out of the doctor and the ER and the hospital room, this looks freaking delicious. I cannot wait to eat it. And if you want to try HelloFresh, go to HelloFresh.com and use our code BETHEVILLAGE90 to get $90 off, including free shipping on your first box. So um, I just got out of the shower, obviously, uh, and um, was talking to John, and the plan all day <laughs> was that I was going to go home, take care of a few things um, while he stayed at the hospital with Sawyer, and then I would relieve him so that he could sleep here, um, get a full night's rest, um, and I would stay at the hospital overnight. And... Um, it's getting really, really dark earlier and earlier right now. And so by the time like dinner was done, I get out of the shower, like everything. It was very dark. Um, and the hospital is pretty much like 30 minutes away. Um, so an hour round trip. So when I talked to John, he's like, just let me stay overnight. Like it's silly for you to drive all the way out here this late. Um, you know, with it being dark and all that stuff. So like, I gotta brag on John because I feel like him and I both were worried about the other person because I'm like worried about him like sleeping at a hospital. It's not really comfortable. Um, and then he was worried about me driving like late when it's dark um, pretty far. So uh, we ended up figuring it out. Healthy relationships. <laughs> Healthy relationships. <laughs> um, but yeah, so now um, I'm gonna just try to go to bed early. I have Darcy's stuff ready to go in the morning. Thank goodness tomorrow is pajama day at school because she's just gonna roll out and <laughs> be on her way. So it's gonna be kind of a quiet night now, um, just kind of resting, um, having my phone on like full blast. I told him to call me like multiple times in the middle of the night if anything changed uh, with Sawyer's condition uh, because basically right now we're just kind of waiting it out and hoping that the antibiotics um, through the IV are gonna work with the warm compound presses that we have on the skin part and they're just constantly monitoring to make sure like the condition doesn't get worse but I'm um, still really really hopeful that by the morning um, he'll show like huge signs of progress and we can avoid like avoid surgery like an 18 month old going through surgery like I know there are so many families out there who've been through that and like I just my heart just like breaks and I don't want Sawyer to go through that we'll keep you updated on the progress um, but send all your good vibes this way. Bye everybody. Mm -hmm.